Hello, Kent Toussaint coming to you live from Teen Therapy Center in Woodland Hills, California for our weekly tips on teens where we answer your questions every week here, Wednesdays at 12 o'clock. We're going to jump right into the question of the week from you guys. Here we go. No matter what we do, our teenage son is not doing well in school. At this point, I'm exhausted because we've literally tried everything. We took away his electronics, took away TV, regulated his time with friends, tried to offer allowances for getting better grades. Nothing works. That's in all caps, by the way. It's driving us crazy. It's almost like he's getting C's and D's just to spite us at this point. How do we get him to understand the importance of school? So, love this question. It's a topical question we get all the time. And I just want my let you know that my heart goes out to you because I know that you're really concerned and you're frustrated and you just want what's best for your kid. Um, I also want to recognize that my concern is, is that this symptom of grades not being up to speed, that may be a symptom and not a cause. So it seems like you're putting so much emphasis on getting the grades in and doing grades that my fear is, is that this whole relation between the parents and this teenager is only about grades. And so you get stuck in this managing role and all you are is a manager. And maybe what this teenage boy needs is more connection. And I know that sounds trite in some way, but I think we have to realize what is really important, his emotional needs or his scholastic needs. Scholastic needs can always be made up later on. Emotional needs, they carry with you for life. And his relationship with you is much more important than what he gets in his biology class. Um, and it's tough. The, there's a, a documentary that was released about eight years ago called Race to Nowhere. And it's a documentary, it's an award-winning documentary about uh, challenging how we we try to support our kids to be successful and maybe looking at different ways to do it. And I think it's important because uh, suicide rates for teenagers are at an all-time high, not only in America, but in most industrialized nations, a lot of it because of this need for getting into college and getting that one college that's successful. And it, it goes to a point where it's, it's untenable. It's, um, there are thousands of colleges in this country good colleges. And uh, a stat that I was told by a colleague of mine who is a college uh, consultant says 90% of the college applications go to 10% of the schools. And that doesn't mean that most of the colleges in the country are bad. In fact, a lot of them are really good. For here locally, uh, in the Valley, in San Fernando Valley, a lot of people will overlook CSUN, like, oh, it's the local school, it's not that good. CSUN is a top school. People come from all over the country and even across the, na the world to come to CSUN. You know, they have, you know, a great business program, kinesiology, uh, computer science, adaptive technology uh, programs, accounting programs, finance programs, entertainment programs. Those are all really strong programs at CSUN, to name a few. They're probably a lot more. It's a really big school. And we overlook it because, oh, it's CSUN. And uh, I just want to encourage you to rec let you know that, you know, if the, your kid doesn't get an SC or UCLA or Berkeley or Stanford, he still may be okay. If he goes to Pierce or he goes to vocational training because he really wants to do things with his hands, that's really important. I also, something I forgot to mention is, um, you know, has he been assessed for any learning challenges? Have there been any visual processing or auditory processing issues uh, assessed? Any attention issues that are getting in the way of his ability to do well in school? The other question here about um, you feel like he's doing it despite you, maybe he is. Maybe he is so frustrated and angry that his whole relation with you is about grades that he's throwing it back at you uh, in retaliation. And maybe if you pull back and create more of a friendship, a relationship. Now I know some of you are saying, but I'm not his friend, I'm his father, I'm his mother. You're right. And a parent is so much more than a friend. A parent is a much more intimate relation with a friend. Um, can be a much more impactful relation with a friend. It's not about being a manager. It's about being connected. It's really important. And if I can go back to Race Nowhere, that documentary, uh, if you're interested in, in knowing more about that, there's a link below to uh, <clears throat> upcoming screenings at El Camino Real Charter High School, and I will be moderating the panel discussion. So if you love my sparking personality, you can get a little bit more on October 11th 
and October 14th, where I'll be moderating. Teen Therapy Center is also one of the sponsors, so hopefully you can stop by and talk to us there as well. Um, if you have more questions about this, this is a really big topic. We can talk for hours and hours about this. Uh, give us a call here at Teen Therapy Center, or you can email us at tips on teens at teentherapycenter.com if you want to me to answer your questions. I will not be here next week. I will be uh, presenting or uh, at a school at Notre Dame High School, helping out over there on Wednesday, but we'll pick up in two weeks and I uh, look forward to seeing you then. And if you have any questions, just comment on here and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.